Hello and welcome to the YVC Writing Center's APA Reference List Entries presentation. This is just a quick glance uh, at how APA reference lists work, how to put together and build um, the most common references, and also a little bit of um, page formatting for you. If you're looking for a more exhaustive, super in-depth look at how um, APA works, definitely recommend hopping over to the APA style blog. And uh, you don't want to go to the APA main page, but you want to go to the style blog. And that's at apastyle.apa.org. Um, the reason why is they have all these quick ways to look for and find what you're looking for. References, in-text citations, mechanics and style, even paper formatting. Um, they've got all the ins and outs because they are the authority on APA. Um, if you're on our YVC Writing Center web page on the YVC website, you can scroll on down for more APA help to our resources. And here, it's actually already open, but you can see, boom, there it goes. We've got the Fast Guide Packet and Quote Broker. Those are all um, handouts that you can download pretty easily in PDF form. We also have our APA videos. These are the old ones here because I'm presently making the new one, the one you're watching right now. And these will be updated um, before you watch this video. So some helpful things at your fingertips there. On with the show, and we know everyone's busy um, working on papers and homework and life and work and everything else, um, so we'll make this super quick. So APA reference list entries basic item order in an APA reference list entry. Make sure the in-text citation matches a corresponding entry on the references page, where you give the full publication information for each reference. APA references follow this item order pattern. Author, super important, period, date, period, title, and then source. If a work has no attributed author, which happens sometimes, then simply start with the title followed by the date and source. Use years for books and journal articles and more detailed dates for publications like magazines and newspapers, even online. The source is generally the publisher and DOI or URL for longer works. For articles, the source is the publication title, volume, issue, page range and DOI or URL on that soon. Okay, types of reference list entries. This one's the most common. Web page on a website. You go to a place like the Mayo Clinic and you're hunting a certain topic for your APA paper, land on a web page within that website, and uh, that's where you get some of your source material for your paper. So here's how you go about citing that. Um, first off here we can see that this is tricky because this person has two last names, Martin Lilly. These are actually, this is the first and middle name. So this um, short work or web page on a website was written by C.M. Martin Lilly. So you got comma, C.M., and that stands in for the period. This was published on December 26th, 2016, and you want to format it that way. The web page title or short work article title, written by Martin Lilly, was called Be Kind to Yourself, How Self-Compassion Can Improve Your Resiliency. You're going to put that in italics, end it with a period. The website that this lived on, or lives on, this short work, is the Mayo Clinic website, period. Then you have the location of the source, which is this web address. Down here, this is also a little bit tricky because like the CDC, um, who sometimes, and well, many companies and organizations and entities, uh, they will actually be the author of the things on their website. In this case, the World Health Organization is both the author and the publisher of this web page on a website. So we're going to put them as author, World Health Organization, and then we've got the date that this short work or web page was published, and that was in March of 2018. Um, in this case, sometimes, you know, web pages will give you exact days. Sometimes they don't, just use what they give you. The 
title of this web page, Questions and Answers on Immunization and Vaccine Safety, and then the location. Um, one thing I forgot to mention here, your source or your web page titles will be in sentence case, which means like the capital B right here in B, <laughs> the first word, um, is capitalized, but everything thereafter isn't unless it's a subtitle which comes after a colon, which you can see right here. So capital B, kind to yourself, colon, capital H, how self-compassion can improve your resiliency. So capitalize the first word, everything thereafter, don't, unless it is a subtitle. Even if the web page, of course, capitalizes everything. Okay, so same thing here. You can see capital Q, and then nothing else capitalized because there is no um, subtitle for this one. Okay, moving right along. Book with a DOI. DOI is like a super golden strength URL. Um, it it stands for Digital Object Identifier, and it's a super anchor for your source. Um, URLs, HTTP, WWWs can change. DOIs do not change. So if they're available, uh, use them. Okay, so in this case, our author is L.S. Brown. This was published, this book, which is online, in 2018. It was entitled Feminist Therapy, capital F, not capital T. Um, that's italicized. Second edition, important, because editions change. And then our source here, the American Psychological Association, who's the publisher of this book. And then a DOI right there. Awesome. Article with the DOI, you have your author, date, title, source, volume and issue, page range, and location. Volume and issue for journals, you can think of them Let's say you're watching uh, Fleabag on um, Amazon Prime, so that's a show. Your season one and season two would be your volumes, volume one and two. And episodes inside those seasons would be your issue. So, you know, oh, have you seen episode three, second season? It would be issue three, second volume, if that helps. So, in this case, we have uh, an article written by S. Bergeson. And real quick, just so you see, you've got the period there. And then 2019, comma, January 4, just like that, period again. Really cool neutral plasmas, capital R, nothing capitalized after that. The source, since this is a scholarly journal, science, and that's italicized. Comma, it's the first time you see a comma. Volume 363, which is also italicized. And then your issue is not italicized. 6422. Remember our analogy. Fleabag, season 363, episode 6422. Wow, prolific show. Page range, it, uh, where did you get your quote? What pages, right? We don't want readers to flip through a billion pages. So you're like, yo, my quote was, or my quotes were from page 33 through 34. And then our location of the source, this DOI. Great. So, book or article without a DOI for a book or article from most databases such as um, ProQuest and EBSCO, you want to omit the database name and the URL. That's kind of weird, but it's true. It's nice. It kind of simplifies things. You treat it just like you would a published um, article on paper. For a book or article with a non-database URL, um, provide the URL. Print versions, of course, don't require a DOI or URL because they are actually paper. <laughs> they don't exist online. All right, a uh, quick note, the example below isn't double-spaced, as you can see, and that's so we could fit two in there. But your reference list entries and your entire paper, of course, should be double-spaced per APA standards, unless your instructor says otherwise. So real quick, same thing, we've got M. Anderson. This was pub is the author, published in 2018. Getting Consistent with Consequences is the title of this work. Capital G, nothing else capitalized. Author period, date period, title period. Educational Leadership, um, which is the article, um, that's the journal, I'm sorry. <laughs> Educational Leadership, scholarly journal in italics, comma, volume 76, also in italics, 
issue one in parentheses, not italicized, and then your page range 26 through 33. This one, we've got two authors, and you've got an ampersand. Pretty cool trick there. Awesome, per APA standards. This article came out in 2016. It was called Algorithms to Live By, colon, The Computer Science of Human Decisions. It was written by B. Christian and T. Griffiths, and it was published by the Henry Holt and Co. period, Co. for company, located at that URL because there wasn't a DOI available for that one. Okay. Science. APA page formatting. Student paper. Let's take a look at what an APA page will actually look like, or paper. But first, the following examples of APA page formatting are all in 12 point, or size, Times New Roman font, and use double line spacing. The American Psychological Association, APA 2019, recommends using accessible fonts, for example, 12 point Times New Roman, 11 point Arial, or 11 point Georgia, so fonts that are easy to read and look clean on the page. Also, check with your instructor to see if they have any requirements for font type and size. All right, let's take a look at a title page, which of course is page one um, of your paper in APA format. It, or the next page, is an example of a properly formatted title page in APA. You always want to include a page number, paper's title in bold, your name, your affiliation or institution name like YBC, your instructor's name, and the paper submission date. Place the title three or four double spaced lines down the page and skip one double spaced line between the title and your name. What does that look like? It looks like that. Pretty cool. We can see page one, this student, Yesenia X. Chavez, title of the paper is Can Community Aid in the Treatment of Social Anxiety Disorder, written uh, for Psych 101. You can see there, colon, intro to psychology at Yakima Valley College, uh, Dr. Amanda M. Bosk. Um, and we took that, that was, that's the bounty hunter in, in Empire Strikes Back. We have little Easter eggs here and there in these things. Uh, and <laughs> the due date, it was submitted March 6, 2021. Of course, this is a fake paper. All right. So, page two and onward to the last page, that's what that plus symbol for is for, in APA format. Your paper's title should also appear in bold before the text of your paper. So this is page two. You can see the title one more time, just on page two. Can Community Aid in the Treatment? And it's in bold, and you can see that tab as well. Okay, almost done. Reference pages, or references page in APA format. A list of references should appear on a separate page at the end of your paper. I always call it the movie credits at the end of the movie. The page should be given the bolded title, References. Entries on this page should be organized alphabetically. Just like that. So it looks like this is page 9. References, it's all double spaced. You have a hanging indent here, which is cool. So we have three. And there they are. Great. Plagiarism! Yikes! Plagiarism occurs when you intentionally or unintentionally give the impression that words or ideas from another person are your own. The best way to avoid plagiarism, a serious academic offense, is to make sure you have something to say about your topic first, then follow the conventions of summarizing, paraphrasing, and quoting to give credit to other people whose information you're sharing with readers. And also on your reference page. Discrepancies, and this is important. You may discover discrepancies between style guides, online APA resources, suggestions from writing center consultants, and instructors about using APA. Instructions about using APA from your instructor. When in doubt, always check with your instructor. They do control your final grade, of course. So our references for this PowerPoint um, were these two sources. And uh, one was uh, written by the American Psychological Association, of course, the APA. In 2019, it was the publication manual of the American Psychological Association, 7th edition. We also use a writer's reference, the 8th edition, 
written by D. Hacker and N. Summers, Summers in 2015, and that was published by Bedford St. Martin. And last thing, well, before you go, um, here's the non-discrimination notice. Also, good luck with your reference page, references pages citations. <laughs> yes. Non-discrimination notice. Yakima Valley College does not discriminate against any person on the basis of race, color, national origin, disability, sex, genetic information, or age in admission, treatment, or participation in its programs, services, and activities, or in employment. All inquiries regarding compliance should be directed to the Executive Director of Human Resource Services, YVC South 16th Avenue and Knob Hill Boulevard, Yakima, Washington 98902, or call 509-574-4670. Happy citations, everybody.